Hey everyone! So it's currently 1pm and I had an early lunch at home and now I'm parked on the street next to the train station. So today I'm going to catch the train into the city for the first time in a really long time and I'm just going to walk around, do a little bit of shopping and just see how the world is. So Sydney has been shut down for around four months and so I haven't been outside the house in around four months as well so I'm really excited to just walk around and see what's out there and maybe you can see here um, I have a little moon necklace so moon for moon Junhee <laughs> um, so I kind of plan to wear this necklace quite a bit now that Sydney has opened up and I can go out and wear outside clothes again. I also get a lot of questions about the bags that I use because I don't really use top end designer bags or anything. So this is the Maison de Fleur tote bag. This brand Maison de Fleur is really really popular in Japan. If you go to an Arashi concert, one in two people will have this bag. That's how popular it is. So it comes in a lot of different colors. I have this um, I have this wine color one and then I also have a navy blue one. Okay, so that's it for the intro and let's get on into the vlog. So I get off in the middle of the city and surprisingly there are not as many people as I thought there would be. I did film this on a Sunday but even when I went down George Street and I went to Chinatown, I found that the impacts of restrictions are quite easily noticeable in that some of these shops are boarded up and there are not many people walking around in the street. So the first place that I went to was Morning Glory. It is one of the old haunts that I loved to visit when I was in high school. It has a large range of K-pop merchandise and also a lot of stationery and cute plushies that I always love to look at. I've definitely missed just having the option to go into a store and to look around and see what products are for sale. I saw these really cute correction tapes and I decided to get one. Look, it's a little carrot and it is so cute. I decided to refrain from touching their plushy displays this time, but I did walk out with a lot of items, particularly this 17 Hengare album, which I will unbox later. Then I went to Muji, which was unfortunately closed, so I went up to Kinokuniya and had a look around their books section and their stationery section. As usual, they have a lot of adorable Sumiko Gurashi stuff, including stickers, plushies, and all the stationery that you could ever dream of. I found it really fun just to walk around and see what new items they had. I think this guitar ruler is really cool. It has a protractor, a ruler, and a circle as well. Normally when I go into Kinokuniya, I don't plan on buying anything. I just like to have a look around at what's out there. But one thing I did find really interesting was this highlighter slash pen which has both a highlighter and pen on the same tip. I thought this would be really useful for uni readings and they had it in a lot of different colours. The Demon Slayer mangas in the manga section were still very much very popular. However, in the Japanese books section, there was unfortunately no new Arashi magazines.
my last store that I visited was Daiso, where I went to their washi tape section and had a look to see if I liked any of their designs, but not for today. I did manage to pick up this very cute little acrylic keyring though, so I'll have a special use for that. And I also managed to pick up these heart-shaped push pins, which I will use to decorate my room. And finally, I got a matcha drink, and I am now headed back home to show you guys what I bought on my little trip to the city. All right, so I am back at home now and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I was originally just gonna unbox everything in the car, but my car was like a sauna. I absolutely couldn't stand it. So I drove home instead. So first off, let's go through what I got from Daiso at the very end. So from Daiso, the first thing I got is these push pins. I've been needing new push pins for a while. I've been needing like flat ones. Um, so I got these heart push pins and I'm going to use them to pin up my June Lawson prints onto a corkboard that I have. And then the next thing that I got is like, I already took off the wrapping, but it's the little key ring um, where you can put a photo on the inside. And I have very creatively, not really very creatively, but I've put the June ID photo inside here. I'm not actually going to put this on my bag or anything. I'm going to hang it somewhere in my room. But yeah, that's what I got from Daiso. Okay, next up, moving on to what I got from Morning Glory. So from Morning Glory, I got another 17 Hengare album. And then I got a pair of socks. And then I got these two carrot things. So um, this is a whiteout. It's so cute. Um, I think you guys saw like me choosing the whiteout from the shelf. There we go. I think I'm a little bit obsessed with carrot things nowadays, so I'm trying to build up a little carrot collection. And then this is a carrot pen, which is equally as adorable. Um, it's like a stress ball material, so it's really fun to squish. And then the pen just opens like this. And it is actually a ballpoint type pen, so if I take this off, it's a black ballpoint. So yeah carrot pen and then I also well I originally had this already on my desk and I also got it from Morning Glory a couple of years ago and it's this carrot glue stick so now I guess I have like a collection of carrot things carrot agenda hello <laughs> so yeah that's my carrot collection um, and then I got a pair of Hello Kitty socks you know you're an adult when you get so excited at the thought of buying new socks. So that's a new pair of socks. And then we have this Hengare album. So I got the Tool version. I already have the Net version, but I thought I would get another one today just for some excitement in unboxing it. So I'm going to carefully use a pair of scissors to open this stupid sticker packaging on the back. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad to open. So let's see what, ooh, what is that? Oh yeah, so the screws just fell out, but let's see what um, tools we have. So we have the front, then hip hop team. I think maybe you get all of them. Hip hop team, performance team, vocal team, and 17, and then the stickers and the CD and oh I think these are the inclusions okay so let's go through the inclusions for the bookmark we got da 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 we got a Hoshi bookmark yay I wasn't expecting to get my biases for the bookmarks because I have all of their bookmarks anyway but that's really cute we got a Hoshi bookmark then you get two photo cards I'm hoping that it is Mingyu because I don't have much Mingyu. I'm, I think I'm missing like a couple of Wanu as well. So let's do this one first. And it is, da 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 da, it's a Wuji. Yay, very cute. So Wuji will be up for trade and potentially selling on my buy and sell Instagram if you want to trade or buy it. Okay, and then next one. Will it be my bias? Will it not be my bias? It is. Oh, it's a Sungwan. Cool. So that's 
not the first time that I've pulled a Sungwan in one of my albums, but yeah, very cute. And Sungwan will also be up for trade and sell on my buy trade and sell Instagram.